Trump was pasteurizing this country, you can definitely see where their priorities were back then. Um, let's see, so again, after that's all done, it's going to be dried to ensure a proper application of the label, and then uh, it's going to go uh, one of two ways. Now, if it's Bud Light, the only beer is out of the nine that we brew here, uh, that's going to use the applied plastic labeler, which is located right here over to the right. Uh, that's why that machinery is down because we are doing Budweiser. Budweiser and the other eight are going to use the paper labeler, which is located over behind uh, the pasteurizer, but you can't see it's kind of out of the way. So once it's labeled, once we know what we brewed, it's going to be boxed, master palletized, put it on the warehouse floor. Now, the warehouse is quite large. It can hold 175,000 cases of beer and 10,000 kegs at any one time. Now, it sounds like a lot, but it actually only lasts two days for our distributor's orders, so our fleet of 125 tractor trailers are immediately expediting that beer out and into the Northeast New England market. Uh, so 